Oh, there's a screwdriver. Hmm. Oh, this you crazy mother. G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to show you how bad this VG sedan is. You all know why I bought it as a donor car. And sadly, once I'm done stripping it out, it's pretty much only good for yard art or the tip. In reality, a little quarter panel here and there. That's no big deal. Any old car. Oh man, what is that? Any old car is going to have quarter panel damage. Oh, there's a screwdriver. Hmm. Um, no big deal. And isolated bits of rust here and there. No big deal. Bolt on panels can be replaced. That's the back door. Whatever. She's, she's cactus. You can find rust-free doors. That's the front door. She's been repaired over time and re-rusted. I've replaced dog legs before. Isolated issues. No big deal. This one's pretty rusty. But that kind of stuff's repairable. But let me open this door up and we'll show you what's really going on with this car. to the roof check it out so you know where I'm looking at C pillar there's nothing in there it's just torn back window and like I said as an isolated issue that's repairable but as we go up. This is the clincher along here. I was having a play before. Yeah, there's a couple of holes. Watch this. The whole roof skin has come apart and you can see it flexing all the way along the back. Badly. This would have been a really nice looking car. Chocolate brown, cream vinyl roof. M245, Regal. Such a shame. A pillar down the bottom. Just do it. It's just, there's no strength whatsoever. And the inside. Like in reality, this car, let me pull that kick panel out. She's about to snap in half.
The funny thing is, the floor, the floor solid all the way through front and back. It's normally the floors that go, maybe some sills, quarter panels, but this thing, because we worked out from the previous video, she came from the coast, the salt lands on the car in the air, it rains, goes down all the nooks and crannies and just rots them away. I was really hoping these guards were good. This one's rotten at the back. Um, but um, if worse comes to worse, I can cut this piece off and replace it. I just don't want to have to sacrifice a good guard to do it. So she's rotten. I need some VG front guards. So if anyone has decent guards, please hit me up at a reasonable cost. Um, this one's repairable with a donor guard or a bit of clever fabrication, but yeah. Have this guard, it's got a good woof in it right there, so that's repairable. Doesn't appear to be any major rust in there, I'm not sure about under this trim there. I don't know if I want to try and break that off. I'll probably undo that probably. Look at that. It's just gone straight in. Screwdriver straight in the sill. There's no strength at all. That's on the driver's side. Front windscreen. Play here before. You can see the wiring for the uh, interior light. Driver's side dog leg. You can go through. All the way through there. The rust down in there is just really, really bad. So, yeah, the point of this video, I guess, is just to show you why I have no respect for it. Um, it's a four door, yeah, it's a VG, but it's so far gone not worth the effort to try and save it. But what are they? Body mount plates or seat belt mount plates. Other side of the roof. It's just cactus. Look at that, just coming apart. The back of the roof is just not connected to the body anymore. Even the poor old mirror copped it, look at that. So the positives, I've got a really good grill, I've got reasonable bumpers, all my bonnet mechanism, the bonnet's not too bad, I need the inner guards, inner guards are fine on both sides, so I'll be cutting them out. Obviously the engine's good, I don't think I'll be using it on this, but it's something I can get my money back on I guess, for what this car owes me. I've got disc brake front end, all the booster and stuff, so everything will come out of it. On the inside, heaps of salvage. Dash, steering wheel, steering column. It's even got the glove box inside, although it has been mucked around with. We have a glove box. All the heater stuff, the complete wiring harness. I will probably cut the floor out, the whole floor. I'm gonna take the seats out. Save those, front and rear. Ears in the driver's side, and just a pillar, not just cactus. Into the plenum there, look. And then as you go down, that's just right. This thing in a crash would just crumple. You'd be safer on a motorbike. And in the boot, you know what, all the locks work. The ignition lock works, we can save that. As we saw in the last video, the boot floor itself is in excellent condition. I need these hinges for the boot, for the coupe, because they've been cut out. So that's all in good condition, we'll save that. 
and the fuel system the fuel tank underneath looks in good condition so we're not going to know until we get that apart but there's so much to salvage so yeah i just wanted to show you how bad it was so you had some reference to what i'm doing with it and why i'm doing it all the bits i need for the uh, hard top is in fairly reasonable condition apart from this guard she's cactus um might be able to save it but like i said if you've got one hit me up yeah she's in a sad state of affairs so i'm not going to do a video of this getting pulled apart i'm just going to hook in get the job done and the next time we meet we'll hopefully be doing some work on the hard top because i'm busting out the chops to get into that i still haven't decided 100 what i'm doing mechanically in that regard um it's a 318 option or a barra we'll see how we go i haven't decided but that's it from me stay tuned be good to your mates like subscribe all that stuff and i'll see you on the next one cheers